for understanding the transmembrane potential and resting membrane potential in cardiac muscle we have to understand this figure first this figure is for changes in transmembrane potential recorded from fast response and a slow response cardiac fiber in isolated cardiac tissue immersed in electrolyte solution at time a the micro electrode was in the solution surrounding the cardiac fiber at time b the micro electrode enter the fiber at time c an action potential was initiated in the impelled fiber time c to d represent the effective refractive period and time d to e represent the relative refractive period an action potential recorded from a slow response cardiac fiber compare with the fast response fiber the resting potential of slow fiber is less negative the up stroke phase zero of the action potential is less strip the amplitude of action potential is smaller phase one is absent and the relative refractive period extend well into phase four after the fiber has fully repolarized now go with the transmembrane potential to investigate the electrical behavior of single cardiac cell, researcher insert a micro electrode. The micro electrode is attached to a galvanometer, a device that measures the strength of an electrical current. The potential changes recorded from a typical ventricular muscle fiber when two electrodes are placed in electrolyte solution near a strip of uh, Quiescent cardiac muscle, no potential difference. At point A is measurable between the two electrode. At point B, when one electrode is inserted into a cardiac muscle fiber, the galvanometer immediately record a potential difference potential difference is denoted as vm across the cell membrane the potential of interior of cell is about minus 90 millivolt lower than the surrounding medium the electronegativity of the interior of resting cell with respect to exterior is also characteristic of skeletal muscle smooth muscle nerves and most cell within the body at point c the ventricular cell is excited by an electronic stimulator and the cell membrane rapidly depolarize during depolarization the potential difference is actually reverse such as the potential of interior of the cell exceeds that the exterior by about 20 millivolt The rapid upstroke of the action potential is designated as phase 0. The upstroke is followed immediately by a brief period of partial early repolarization. That is phase 1. and then by a plateau phase 2 that persists for about 0.1 to 0.2 second the membrane then repolarize phase 3 
until the resting state of polar ice phase 4 is again attained at point E. Final repolarization phase 3 develops more slowly than does depolarization phase 0. The relationship between the electrical event in the cardiac muscle and actual contraction of cardiac muscle is shown here. Rapid depolarization phase 0 occurs before force develop and complete repolarization coincides approximately when peak force. The relaxation of muscle takes place mainly during phase 4. Rapid depolarization phase 0 occurs before force develop and Completing of repolarization coincides approximately with peak force. The relaxation of muscle takes place mainly during phase 4 of action potential. The duration of contraction parallel the duration of the action potential. The principal type of the action potential. There is two main type of action potential take place in the heart. One type is fast response. First response occur in normal atrial and ventricular myocytes. And a specialized conducting fiber or kinje. The other type of action potential, the slow response. Occur in sinoatrial node and atrioventricular node. The specialized tissue that conduct the cardiac impulse from atria to ventricular. Fast response may change to slow response under certain pathological condition. For example, coronary artery disease, a region of cardiac muscle is deprived to its normal blood supply. As a result, the potassium concentration in the interstitial fluid that surround the affected muscle cell rises because potassium ion is lost from the inadequately perfused or ischemia cell. The action potential in some of these cell may then be converted from fast to slow response. As shown here, not only the resting membrane potential, page 4 of the fast response considerably more negative than the slow response, but the slope of the up stroke at phase 0, the amplitude of the action potential and the extent of the overshoot of the fast response are greater in the slow response. The amplitude of the action potential and the steepness of the up stroke are important determinant of how fast the action potential is propagated. In slow response, cardiac tissue, the action potential is propagated more slowly than the fast response. In addition, the conduction is more likely to be blocked in slow response cardiac tissue than in fast response tissue. Low conduction and a tendency toward conduction block increase the likelihood of some rhythm disturbance. Now let's talk about the resting membrane potential. The various phases of cardiac action potential are associated with changes in the permeability of the cell membrane, mainly to sodium, potassium and calcium ion. Changes in cell membrane permeability alter the movement of this ion across the membrane. The permeability of the membrane to a given ion, its transmembrane concentration difference and the transmembrane electrical potential difference define the net quantity of the ion that will diffuse across the membrane. Changes in permeability are accomplished by the opening and closing of ion channel that are specific for the individual ion. As with all other cell in the body, the concentration of potassium ion inside a cardiac muscle cell is far greater than the concentration outside the cell.
The reverse concentration gradient exists for the sodium and calcium ion. Estimate the extracellular and intracellular concentration of sodium, potassium and calcium ion and the equilibrium potential for this ion is here. The resting cell membrane is relatively permeable to potassium ion but much less permeable to sodium ion and calcium ion. Hence, potassium tend to diffuse from inside to the outside of the cell in the direction of potassium concentration gradient. Any flux for potassium ion during phase 4 take place mainly through a specific potassium channel. Several types of potassium channel exist in cardiac cell membrane. Some of these channels are regulated, they are open and closed according to the transmembrane potential, whereas other are regulated by chemical signal, the extracellular neurotransmitter concentration. One of the specific potassium ion channel through which potassium passes during phase 4 is a voltage regulated channel that conducts inwardly rectifying potassium current. This current is symbolized and for now it is only necessary to know how this current is established. Many of anions such as protein inside the cell are not free to diffuse out with the potassium ion. Therefore, the potassium diffuse out of the cell and leave the impermeant anion behind. The deficiency of cation then causes the interior of the cell to become electronegative. As a result, the positively charged potassium ions are attracted to the interior of the cell by the negative potential that exists there. Therefore, two opposing forces are involved. in the movement of potassium across the cell membrane. A chemical force based on the concentration gradient result in net outward diffusion of potassium ion. The counter force is based on the electrostatic difference between the interior and exterior of the cell. If the system came into equilibrium, the chemical and electrostatic forces would be equal. This equilibrium is expressed by the Nernst equation. The right hand arm represents the chemical potential difference and the left hand arm represents the electrostatic potential difference that would exist across the cell membrane if potassium ion were the only diffusible ion. Electrostatic difference is called potassium equilibrium potential. When the major concentration of potassium inside the cell and potassium outside the cell for mammalian myocardial cell are substituted into the Nernst equation, the calculated value of electrostatic potential difference equal about minus 95 millivolt for the potassium only. This value is close to but slightly more negative than the resting potential actually measured in myocardial cell. Therefore, the potential that tend to drive potassium ion out of the resting cell is small. The actual resting potential is slightly less negative than the predicted potential because the cell membrane is slightly permeable to other ion, notably to the sodium ion. The balance of the force acting on sodium is opposite to the balance of force acting on the potassium ion in resting cardiac cell. The intracellular sodium ion concentration is much lower than the extracellular sodium ion concentration. The sodium equilibrium potential expressed by the Nernst equation is about 70 millivolt. At equilibrium, therefore, an electrostatic force of about 70 millivolt oriented with the inside of the cell more positive than the outside is necessary to counterbalance the chemical potential for sodium ion. However, 
The actual resting membrane potential of myocyte is about minus 90 millivolt. Hence, both chemical and electrostatic forces act to pull extracellular sodium ion into the cell. The influx of sodium ion through the membrane is small. However, because the membrane of the resting cell is not very permeable to sodium ion. Nevertheless, this small inward current of the sodium ion is sufficient to cause the potential on the inside then the value predicted by the Nernst equation for potassium ion. The dependence of uh, potential on the conductance and on the intracellular and extracellular concentration of potassium ion, sodium ion and other ion is described by chord conductance equation. This equation reveals that relative, not absolute, membrane conductance to sodium and potassium ion determine the resting potential. In the resting cardiac cell, the conductance to potassium ion to potassium ion is about 100 times greater than the conductance for the sodium ion. Thank you. We will continue the series of heart. Next chapter will be action potential phases. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe my channel.